Harry and Di in need of a hug. Charles burned all bridges with Sussex, kicked him out of royal forever. Prince Harry's miserable week sees one royal expert claim that he is in dire need of a hug following a royal snub. It comes as the Duke of Sussex is seemingly sidelined from one of his final roles with the firm, following his departure in 2020. He and Meghan Markle left active duties in the royal family two years ago, and it would appear the meaningful days Harry used to look forward to are now at an end. According to royal expert Daniela Elza, it has not been the best of weeks for the Duke of Sussex, who was unceremoniously reminded of public mood. A quick succession of changes for Harry has seen a rough week for the royal, with Elsa saying that he is in need of a hug and warm matcha latte. Among the awful moments for the Duke, Elsa says he has been sidelined from his final royal gig by his father King Charles and had to watch on from afar while the firm took part in a key service. Indicating the absence of Harry at the Remembrance Sunday service, Elsa added that the event used to be one of the most meaningful days on his calendar. That no longer appears to be the case, as the event will have been unceremoniously reminded that Brits prefer his sister-in-law Kate, Princess of Wales than he and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. It does not stop there for Harry, though, and according to Elsa it comes as the prince loses a cherished troll. She added, and all of that is before you even factor in only two weeks ago it was announced the king would replace him as the Captain General of the Royal Marines, a cherished role whose loss left him upset, news.com.au reported. After all that, she concluded, even the most robust of egos would be in dire need of a hug and warm matcha latte right about now. King Charles' decision to promote his siblings for royal duties meant that Prince Harry has been firmly excluded by his father, according to royal experts. His Majesty has decided to appoint Princess Anne and Prince Edward as councillors of state. In a symbolic move taken on the monarch's 74th birthday, he asked the House of Lords to expand the list of those who can stand in for him when necessary. It means that it is highly unlikely that the Duke of Sussex or Duke of York will be called upon to deputise as Camilla Queen Consort, Prince William and Princess Anne also hold the title. Speaking to Mail Online, royal biographer Tom Bowers said it was obvious that there had been no reconciliation when the King and his son met around the time of the Queen's funeral in September. He said, Clearly there was no reconciliation during the Queen's funeral and Charles fears the worst from the Netflix series and Harry's memoir. Harry is firmly excluded, until he decides to come back to Britain and ask for forgiveness. Royal biographer Angela Levin argued that the slight to the Duke of Sussex and Duke of York was necessary. Mrs. Levin added that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be furious at the move but that it was more practicable for His Majesty to ask the Earl of Wessex and the Princess Royal to deputise as they are based in the UK. She said, Harry and Meghan would be absolutely furious. But he lives in California, he's stopped being a working royal, so why should he, be a councillor of state? It isn't about Harry. Mrs. Levin added that the public would be absolutely furious if the Duke of York was asked to stand in describing the King's move as very sensible. She added that the move was to ensure the smooth running of the monarchy. That the